joined by uh, Mike Hughes of uh, Wigan St Pat's. We're here, great clubhouse, plenty of history, but uh, tell us why we're here, Mike. Uh, we're here to d d get a pathway for uh, people that probably don't want to go professional, don't make it as professionals, um, probably too young. Some lads that I know, they don't want a, a professional career in rugby league. They, they like the amateur game. Um, clubs like this create you know, great, great players. And Lancashire, we pick them up at 17s, pick them up 19-year-old, and there's an open age. I mean, there used to be an over 35s, and hopefully uh, we'll get that back. But at the moment, there's three age groups there, and once you've got that Lancashire Rose on your chest, you've deserved it, you've earned it. Just to ask about how, how did you come to get involved in Lancashire, Mike? Oh, God, ten... 2010, um, the now chairman, Phil Johnson, uh, introduced um, me to Lancashire. Um, I was passionate about uh, rugby league anyway, and I thought, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind getting involved at, uh, at that higher level. Uh, I was coaching here at the time. And I'd had enough, really. I'd, um, my son had played here from being five um, up to him being um, like nine, ten year old. And I thought, yeah, I won't, I won't mind a change. Uh, I knew Phil and I knew some of the other committee lads, a lad called Chris Parr as well. You know, great people. Uh, they got me involved here. And I've never looked back. I've enjoyed every single minute of it. You know, and there's been some tough days. Uh, but, you know, you just dust yourself off, crack on. But there's some really good people behind it. So, And it's getting even more inspiring now because we've built up on the committee. Um, business people, you know, putting a lot of hours in it of their own time. Money, um, passion. Uh, it, you can just see the difference it's made from um, me getting involved at the early stages where there was just an handful of us and now... I think there's probably 10 uh, committee members, you know, all, all punching the way through, uh, getting those sponsorship, uh, funding, business ideas, marketing ideas, yourself included, getting stuff out onto uh, a website. We've got our own shop now, so you can buy stuff through at the online shop through uh, Lancashire. So, yeah, it's, um, it's done well and it's getting better. I've got to ask you as well, um, you know, you've, you've touched on a couple of things there and I know particularly when Phil spoke to me last week, he's just so passionate. That passion just really comes through. It, it is. All, all the committee, the coaches are so passionate about Lancashire because it's it's a proud badge to have on your chest, you know. And the, and the, the, the guys that have come through this training regime and it's been tough, I mean, some really tough sessions to strip it down from... 32 for the under 17s down to 21 uh, I remember Dave Yates yeah, sending me a message saying there's nothing in them that you know it, it really is that difficult uh, so if you're going out with that kit on you've deserved it you've worked really hard for it same for 19s 19s know what it's like because some of the 19s have come through at uh, from 17s you know and been reintroduced so they're, they're used to the pain and suffering sometimes on, 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 in these training sessions and, and the coach is brutal, but you have to be because it's all about winning. It bodes well for the future as well, doesn't it? So, so many people getting involved, so many. I mean, you mentioned there about the, uh, the committee. There's an old saying, isn't there? Many hands make less work. Yeah, that's absolutely true. I said that to Phil, you know. Uh, there was Phil Johnson, Jim Parry, John Stevens, uh, myself, it were tough year on year asking the same sponsors to to put their hand in the pocket and now we've got like a, a wider um, committee that's all got friends that's interested in rugby league passionate like us as well you know that want the names on the shirts and on the kits uh, so it makes it a lot easier many hands make it like work yeah you're right and of course we're here at the uh, the world famous Wigan St Pat's Club uh, putting on great host as well for the, the whole Lancashire set up this evening probably the, the you know biggest name in amateur rugby league uh, St Patrick's it's uh, it's over 100 year old isn't it? over 100 year old now um, I mean just looking around you see the shirts on the wall all lads that have come through 
at this club that are now professional. There must be, what, 100 shirts on the wall, and there's probably more there in the in back room that's waiting to go up, or stuff that's been tucked down, so there's new ones to go up. Well, it's, uh, it's been a brilliant club. Uh, it's been a, a good club for me. It's been a good club for my son. It, and look, there's, what, about 120 lads here tonight. You know, good facilities, good food, get some lobby. <laughs> you know, yeah.